Each digit is 10 times smaller than the digit to its left when you're looking at a place value chart in the base 10 place value system. And each digit is 10 times greater than the digit to its right. And that's what we're learning today. Uh, use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. Okay, so, so this is like an Engage New York type of yes, problem. Yes, it is. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put my three in. I'm going to put my decimal uh, eight, seven, five, and I am multiplying by 10. So it's getting 10 times larger. So what I know whenever I go from ones to tens, it got 10 times larger, correct? So what I'm doing is I'm taking my three and I'm moving it. And I am, ooh, can I move my decimal, Mr. Schmidt? Well, no. Okay, but if you don't, then your numbers, if you slide those numbers, that's going to get messed up. Mm-hmm. It's going to go like this. Yeah. Ten times, okay? And then this one's going to go right here, and then this one's going right here. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, we can't just, we're not going to shift right. the decimal. Right. Because then we'd have the same number. Yeah. So instead of three and, and 875,000. Now, you know what? That looks like a division sign, so you should put an arrowhead there or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. It just, just looked like a big division sign okay. all of a sudden. All right, I was just trying to move it. But yes, you're right. <clears throat> okay, so uh, so my answer is 38 and 75 hundredths. Cool. Okay. All right. What about this one? Um. Okay, because this is a division, so yeah. we can do one division. So oh, let me get the writing in. This okay, thing. so what I want to do is I want to put the three... And my decimal staying right where it belongs, eight, seven, five. And I'm going to divide it by 10. That means I'm going to be going this way. We're going to run out of room. I know. <laughs> but the decimal doesn't change. So this one here is a bit more of a leap. Okay, mm -hmm. so my three is going here. And then my eight goes here. My seven goes here. Oh, and my five is out here in outer space. This is a thousand, one thousand, so this is going to be one ten thousandths. Okay? And so that is the way that's going to look. Okay. You want to do any more or you want to go down? Well, I think that they can do. So they have two tenths, so they know that they're going to. Um, I'm just going to do it like this for you for the first one. You have two tenths. And you're going to do that 10 times. And you would need 10 groups of that. 10 groups. So this is one group. Yeah. So you need 10 groups of that. Well, if you did 10 of them, use different colors. There's a group. That's a group. That's a group. That's a group. That's five so far. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten groups. And so how much It would do fill you up have? both of those and then what would we have? We, have we would have two, two holes. holes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Are you doing any division or are we going down? Um, I think that we could, uh, so if they have two tenths, so if they have, um, that means that they have this right here. All shaded in, those two All columns. of them is yeah. shaded in. And if you had to break them apart into 10 groups. So I'm going to get myself a different color real quick. And so I got it. So I'm going to break it into groups of 10. So I'm going to say that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Well, how much is in each group? Well, there are two hundredths in each group. So mm -hmm. our answer would be two hundredths. Absolutely. So I'm going to put my zero, my decimal point, no tenths. So it's going to be two hundredths. Good. Okay. Awesome. All right. And I think we can do this. So you have two complete holes divided by ten. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great day. Yeah. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye.